I'm going to be sharing some quick empowering lessons that I've started doing to help you stop focusing on others and start focusing on yourself. My name is Keisha Thompson and on this channel I'm here to help you make yourself a priority. This video is inspired by a interview that I watched um, from David Goggins. David Goggins is a retired Navy SEAL who has competed in over 60 ultra marathons, trilathlons, I hope I'm saying that right, and ultra trilathlons. He self-published a book that I purchased which is named Can't Hurt Me. And here it is. It is a New York best time seller. I linked the full interview and the book that I purchased in the, in the description box below if you want to check them out. Before we get even into the video, let me go on ahead and put this out here, okay? If you don't want someone making you feel uncomfortable, being straight up and, and like brutally honest with you to pull that greatness out in, outside of you and making you push yourself out of your comfort zone, then I would recommend not reading this book or watching the video, but if that's something that you want to do, and going ahead and watch the video and you know look into the book be willing to outwork everyone in the world so for example if you are hustling you're trying to make it happen for yourself you want you're trying to get to your your goals uh get out of your situation better your situation get to your goals visions dreams ideas whatever you're trying to do and you're hustling you stop focusing on other people and then you start focusing on yourself when you are so busy hustling and disciplined and determined trying to make stuff happen for yourself you ain't got time to be worried about nobody else honey okay and i'm personally getting back into doing that now all these things that i'm telling you, i'm starting to do them as well if you're still with me watching this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for me to show me some support okay number two find more of yourself to empower yourself and for example this is like self-reflection self awareness this is really sitting with yourself getting deep with yourself asking yourself these questions who am i why am i here what is my purpose what is your soul calling you to do right so when you know who you are what you're here to do what your purpose is what your soul is calling you to do and you're on your mission to achieve that that is just powerful so that is when, when you know yourself, you're so empowered. Nobody can stop you. Number three, the most important conversation is the one you have with yourself. Change the inner dialogue in your head. For example, this is what David talked about in the interview as well. Ditch that victim mentality forever. That, that's what he said, and he's right. When you start having those negative thoughts, the unworthiness thoughts, or I'm not valuable, or you know, uh, self-doubt, what I want you to do, um, if you watch TV or even if watching YouTube, if you don't like what you see, what do you do? You, 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 um, you hit the remote and change that channel, honey, okay? You, if you don't like a video on YouTube, what do you do? You go to somebody else's channel, change the channel, or just get off of it. But my point is, is when you have... When these negative thoughts start coming in our head, and, and I know I personally struggle with that. When those start coming in your head, I want you to be like, no, you know what? Yes, this might be a difficult, but I am beautiful. I am powerful. I am going to, I am enough. I am going to achieve these goals. I need you to start flipping that switch. The people who see the invisible can do the impossible. When those negative thoughts come, go ahead and, and hit that uh, delete button and change that channel and start filling your head and speaking out loud, I can achieve anything. Nothing phases me at all. With hard work and determination and with myself pushing myself, I can do it. Change that inner dialogue and let that be your fuel to your fire. Comment below and let me know which quick lesson resonated with you the most. In my next video, I'll be sharing my favorite detox smoothie recipes. Make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe because I don't want you to miss that video or any other future videos to come. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos on how to make yourself a priority, go ahead and click on the videos on the screen right now and I'll see you over in those videos and you have a wonderful day.